<laughs> Hallelujah. <Thank you. laughs> Come on, somebody. Oh, he's worthy. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb. Till I made I was breathing but not alive All my failures I tried to hide I 
have a friend his name is Jesus it is Jesus he's a rock that
It's your spirit in our hearts. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your spirit in our hearts. So we pour out our praise to you only. Great. Give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. It's your y'all go shake hands with two or three people tell somebody you love them you're glad they're here
Aleluya. Well, hallelujah. Is that better? Boy, I tell you, it's been good and it's getting gooder. Thank God for all the speakers. We're so happy to have Pastor Mike Witsy. Amen. Happy. Boy, ain't no telling what the Lord going to say tonight through him. But I'm expecting. Amen. And so, uh, we, we love you all so much, and uh, it's just been real good tonight. We're, we're having a special offering for the ministry. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, how many of y'all brought your special offering tonight? Amen. Praise God. Well, let's go ahead and stand. If you need an envelope for you, again, raise your hand. We'll get you an envelope. Amen. You need an envelope for your giving. Should have already had it ready. Unless the Lord spoke to you, you know, on the way here. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Y'all just in time. Amen. The Lord did not want to leave y'all out. Hey Amen. They've been working, working. Hallelujah. Do you need an envelope? You ready? All right. Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready, sweetie? You ready too? All right. Go ahead. Come on, come on, honey. Over this side. Y'all lift your offering up to heaven, Lord. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our Father, which art in heaven, how would be thy name, thy will be done in Christ Jesus on earth as it is seated with Christ in heavenly places. We thank you for the privilege to give to your work, to the ministry, to the church, to the gospel. Lord, to see people's lives change and to be a blessing, Lord, that every need's met, that we have more than enough to do what you tell us to do. I pray a special blessing on the saints tonight of increase spiritually and physically, financially, materially. May all grace abound toward them and online, all my partners, that they have all sufficiency in every good work Lord, they'll have too much. I just pray tonight, after tonight, that, that, that they'll have too much. In Jesus' name, amen. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace that brought us through. For his high. about his goodness think about his grace that brought us through for as high as the heavens above so great is the measure of our Father's love so great is the measure of our Father's love. Oh, 
bring that? Did you bring it? I want, I want to hear this. Great is the measure right there. of our Father's love. This, this is the jewel. She asked me, could she blow this? I ain't never heard, man. I want to hear it. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. I heard one now. Amen. This is what they, they blow in Israel. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Well, we blew it at Jesus' answer. I want to introduce my friend, fellow minister, who I love so dearly. He's special to me. Amen. I wake up at 3 in the morning and help him if, if needed. Um, he, he's, he's really got some things from the Lord that God's going to share. And so y'all stand up, give Pastor Mike a good, a good praise and clap. Yeah. 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 Glory. Glory to God. Amen. Let's appreciate Pastor Scales, Lady Nita, all of the, late, all of the leadership. Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Amen. He got the final say over everything. What he say goes. He, he conquered everything, whooped everything, overcame everything, defeated everything. He rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. Amen. He's seated at the right hand side of the Father. Amen. Glory to God, enforcing his works in the earth. Amen. Glory to God. And the Bible says, Amen. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, he should do also and greater. Turn to somebody and say, God got something greater for you to do. That's why the devil can't kill you, can't take you out, because God got something greater he wants you to do. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Somebody say, I'm destined for greatness. Because the greater one lives on the inside of me. Glory be to God. Amen. Well, I'm so excited to be a part, amen, of what God is doing here in Jesus is the answer. Church. Amen. I'm telling you, you are a part of making a difference in the lives of multitudes of people all around the globe. Amen. God is using you in this ministry to populate heaven and depopulate hell. Glory be to God. I told Pastor Scales uh, in 2014, the Lord told me, he said, go set up under Pastor Scales. I was going through some crisis. I mean, some, I mean, crisis. My crisis had crisis. Them kind of crisis. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and, uh, and the Lord told me, he said, all you need is a word. He said, that's all you need. He says, one thing that answers everything, and that's my word. And all you need is a word. If prayer was going to change it, it would have been done changed. He said, all you need is a word. And he said, now, this word that you need, it, it's got to be coming from someone that I sent to minister to you. Amen. Glory to God. And he said, so I gave him a word for you. Now, go out there and hear it, receive it. And he said, when you receive it, Receive it, hear it, and receive it without protest, without argument, and without wishing it was different. Because you know how Pastor Scales going to talk to you, amen. Man, boy, he going to put it out there. I'm talking about, boy, it's going to, you see. And so if you got some protest, argument, and wishing it was different, you're going to miss it. Amen. The Lord said, don't, don't, don't have no protest, don't have no argument, and don't wish it was different. He said, just let it ride. Y'all heard that song? It's like that, and that's the way it is. Uh. He said, just leave it like that. <laughs> and, 
And so he was, he was ministering. I was sitting right over there where he is on the end. And he came over there. He said, Pastor Mike, he said, listen, I'm going to obey the Lord and help you. He said, but you need to start listening to Jesus and doing what he said. He said that in front of the whole congregation. <laughs> and, and you know my little flesh, you know, but then the Lord, I went back to what the Lord said. I sent him, I gave him a word for you. Now hear it without protest, argument, wishing it was different. I called him that night on the way home shouting, rejoicing, praising God. Because I knew, amen, the crisis was over. <laughs> Glory be to God. I'm telling you, from that night forward, things began to shift and lift. I mean, in amazing ways. Amen, ways that that are only traceable to Jesus. The outcome looked like it's just him, where you just had to give him glory, honor, and praise. But this is what the Lord told me. He said, he said, that word that he gave you, it took away all your excuses for living in defeat. He said, you don't have no excuse for living in defeat no more. Shh, glory. Glory to God. Turn to somebody and say, I ain't going to have no excuse for living in defeat anymore after this week. Glory to God. Woo! <laughs> How you gonna live in defeat when Jesus conquered everything, whooped everything, overcame everything? Glory to God. Amen. This is what he showed me. Look at the three scriptures. Look at, uh, look at uh, Colossians 2 verse Verse, verse 14 and 15. Amen. Now notice what he said right there. He said, I blotted out the handwriting, the orders that was against you. See, right there. Everything that was against you, whether you did it or somebody else, whether it's your fault or others, Jesus blotted it out. Glory to God. <laughs> Woo! Even if you did it earlier today, an hour ago, five minutes ago, it, it's blotted out. Living to blot it out, thinking to blot it out, talking to blot it out. <laughs> Glory to God. Jesus ain't going to accuse you or nothing. The devil is the only one that can accuse you. Amen. And Jesus done blotted him out. Glory to God. Amen. That's why he said, by your words, you'll be justified. By your words, you'll be condemned. See, you ain't living in the blotted out when you talk defeat. Talk not making it. Struggling. I don't know what we're going to do. You got Somebody say you got to live in the blotted out. <laughs> Glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. There's some oil on this, y'all. Watch this. Amen. Because see, the Lord erasing, he getting rid of all our excuses for living in defeat. He wants you as a more than a conqueror. Amen. The head and not the tail, above only, never beneath, the lender, not the burial. The healed instead of the sick, the rich instead of the poor, the strong instead of the weak. So in order to be like that, you got to live in the blotted out. You can't team up with the devil and let him accuse you of something Jesus done blotted out. Glory to God. Woo! That's somebody, somebody getting set free right there. Amen. Revelation 12 Amen. Verse, verse 10, it said, the devil is the accusing of the brethren. See, he, he, he going to go get something Jesus done blotted out and try to get you to think on that, reason on that, see, and, and keep you in the defeat, locked up in it, you see. But Jesus done blotted it out. Look at Joshua, Ze uh, Zechariah 3. Look at verse, verse 1. One through, one through three. Watch this. God had to teach Joshua. He had to teach him how to live in the blotted out. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now it's the salvation, the strength, and the kingdom of God, and the power of his Christ, the accusing of our brother. Notice, he cast down, which accused him before God day and night. Now go to Zechariah 3, verse 1. Glory to God. And, and, and let's, let's look at how God, where his position is. He, he just live and stay and move in the blotted out. <laughs> Glory to God. And then the, uh, Zechariah, is that chapter 3, verse 1? All right, Bible, man, work with me a little bit. 
Somebody give Bible man a hand tonight. Glory to God. Zechariah 3, verse 1. Zechariah 3, verse 1. Glory to God. Glory to God. He's talking about uh, uh, Joshua here. God had chosen him. Amen. Glory to God. And, and, and anointed him and appointed him. All right. Glory to God. Zechariah 3, verse 1. We'll go in there. And, uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Where the Holy Ghost at? Right there. Amen. Glory to God. Where's Zechariah at, y'all? Where, where, where that rain? Right, okay, right before Malachi. I'm just listening to the Holy Ghost. He the one gave me the scripture. I done, I done had about 10 messages. And, and, and so I'm just listening to it. Amen. See, the, the name of the theme of the conference, the theme of the conference is what? Jesus already done it, right? He already did it. So we're going to look at how to live in what he already did. All right. Now notice what he said. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan doing what? At the right hand side of God doing what? Resisting him. Resisting him. Watch this. And the Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuked you, O Satan, even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem, he rebuked thee. Is not he a brand plucked out of the fire? See, he's moving him into the blotted out. Watch this, watch this. Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. See, clothed with filthy garments, stood before the angel of the Lord, and, the, and he answered and spake unto those that that, uh, that stood before him saying, take away the filthy garments from him. And under him, he said, behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee. And I will clothe thee with a change of raiment. See, he taking him into the blotted out. Whew, glory be to God. Whoa, if he can just get you to live in the blotted out and how you think and how you talk and then how you do. Oh, you can move in him, live in him, have your being in him. Glory to God. And you'll have the answer to everything. Woo! You won't live in defeat never, ever again if you learn how to live in the blotted out. Glory, God. That's a revelation right there. Turn to somebody and say, I'm living in the blotted out. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> Every time you're in prayer, he try to put your mind on something he blotted out let's tell him I'm living in the blotted out Shh. glory to God Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey Woo! glory Man, you can pray like a prince. Amen. I said you can pray like a prince. Amen. When you praying in the blotted out. When you can't remember nothing. Woo. That Jesus done blotted out. Glory be to God. Ain't no condemnation, no guilt, no shame. You just going from glory to glory. From one level of faith to another. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. <laughs> The only way he can get you to doubt, amen, something that you believe in him for, is to get, get, get your mind on something he blotted out. If he can't get your mind on something he blotted out, you're going to stay in faith, you're going to stay in Christ, you're going to stay in him and what he did, said, and promised. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Woo! Go back to Colossians. Go back to Colossians. Because <laughs> the Lord said, listen, listen, he said, I'm getting rid of everyone's excuse for living in defeat. Glory to God. And I ain't gonna let them make one either. Glory to God. Now watch what he said. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us. Woo! That was contrary to us. He took it out of the way. Nailed it to the cross. Oh, he nailed amen sugar diabetes to the cross. High blood pressure joint aches, stroke symptoms, Woo, cancer, he nailed it to the cross. 
It ain't supposed to be on you. It's supposed to be on the cross. Tell that thing. Get back on that cross. Glory to God. Amen. And when they put it on the cross, nailed it there. That's why you got to live in to blot it out. Amen. All that stuff on the cross. You, you ain't on the cross. Amen. Where you at? Seated with the Jesus in heavenly places with Christ. So you don't went from the cross to the throne. Now you reigning and ruling. You ain't struggling with what he blotted out no more. You speaking to that thing. They ain't praying about it no more. No, you saying to that thing. Be thou plucked up. Be thou removed. Be thou cast in the sea. You ain't supposed to be on me. You supposed to be on Jesus. You supposed to be on the cross. That's where he put you at. Poverty, lack, worry, fear, anxiety, depression. Get back on that cross. to God. I'm living in the blotted out. Ain't nobody in heaven seated at the right hand side of Jesus with stuff ain't blotted out. Glory to God. They can't get accused of nothing. Mm, I'm going to show y'all how to live in that. Because I had to live in that. I had 10 federal government indictments against me on every channel of the news every day. I told you my crisis had crisis. People telling me, don't go in ministry no more. Just go in business, man. God done with you in ministry. If I would have believed that, we never would have had a tuition-free school, K-12 grade, amen, educating children who parents are in prison. This is our sixth year. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Praise the Lord. I mean, taking children out of horrific conditions. Children at the schools, you know, because they have a few little behavior problems. They put them on all these drugs. And, and, and one of our members, Brother Dorsey, his son, he had a little trouble talking. And they tried to put him on drugs. Amen. We took him. Amen. Got him born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, put the word of God in. Now the boy ain't talking. He's preaching. It. Make straight A's in school. Glory to God. Amen. See, we got to learn how to live in the blotted out. See, when you're living in the blotted out, you don't have no excuses to live in defeat. None at all. Because he done blotted them all out. For real, no matter if, if the money funny, the change strain, you still ain't got no excuse for not planning on having it. Whew. Glory to God. So the Lord, the Lord told me, he said, he said, I'm going to show you how to live in Colossians 2, verse 14 and 15. I'm going to show you how to live in that. Glory to God. And so I'm going to show you tonight because the enemy, he's the accuser of the brother. He'll try to take something, somebody doing to you, something you done did, and try to make that how God deal with you. Mm. Mm. But you got to put that back on the cross. Glory to God. And that's the only thing keeping you from receiving from him. <clears throat> it's him accusing you and you agreeing with it to some degree. Glory to God. Once you get finished with that, man, the faith line, the communication is wide open. <laughs> Glory. I mean, the crooked way made straight, rough right places made smooth. The way of the Lord is prepared. Glory to God. Now, now, now watch this. Notice what he said. He said he, he took it out of the way, contrary to us, took it out of the way, nailed it to the cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made an open show of it. It wasn't done in a corner, right? It was done wide open before heaven, hell, and earth. Amen. Woo, glory to God. Amen. So everybody can see. Woo, glory to God. 
Now watch this right here. He, he said he made an open show. He triumphed over in it. Put it up in the amplified version. Watch how he said he done it right there in that verse. Woo, glory to God. Amen. He really whooped it over there. Amen. God disarmed. 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 Think about it. You in the bank putting, making a deposit and a robber come in there. Stick it up. Everybody get on the floor. I mean, all your plans just go down the drain. Though. Man, what this guy going to do? Got the gun on you and everything. And the police come in there. Hey, we got you surrounded, robber. Come out with your hands up. Throw down your weapon. All your hopes start coming back. <laughs> Ooh, glory. They rush in there, disarm him, put him in handcuffs. You get up off the floor, start talking back to him. You crazy <laughs> fool. You, you... <laughs> Woo! That's how Jesus did cancer. That's how he did sugar diabetes. That's how he did worry, poverty, lack, fear. He disarmed it. Now you can talk crazy to it. Woo, many of the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered me out of them all. <laughs> Glory to God. Man, when he showed me that, I talked crazy to them 10 indictments. Man, y'all ain't going to get to have me do me like that. Ain't no way. Woo! Jesus had to come off the cross, take what he did for me there, and put it back on me. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. And if he ain't going to come from the throne, back to the cross, take what he put on there and did for me and give it back, put it back on me. Amen. I'm going to live in what he did for me. I'm going to live in the blotted out. Shh. Glory to God. Ah. Woo! <laughs> Boy, this night is finna get it. I'm telling you, tonight, amen, you ain't gonna have no reason to live in defeat. None. Now, when I ain't, I'm talking about not living, I'm talking about, no, I ain't talking about barely making it, struggling. I ain't talking about that kind. No! I'm talking about more than a conqueror. Like Pastor Scales prayed that they have too much. Yeah, yeah, glory to God. I feel that too much anointing coming in. Glory. <laughs> boy, it's free freedom in here, boy. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Glory to God. Woo, this is our Independence Day. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Woo, now watch what he said. He disarmed principalities and powers that was ranged against you. He made a bold display and public example of them in triumphing over them in him and in the cross. I'm telling you, everything you going through is on the cross. You ain't there. You at the throne. You seated in heavenly places in him. And you ain't supposed to pray about what he done put on the cross. You're supposed to speak to that thing. Woo! You praying about it, man. How you gonna pray about something he already did? Glory to God. No, there's a time to pray and there's a time to say. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now watch this. Notice when he put that thing on the cross, watch this. Somebody finna get set free right now. Boy, somebody receiving a, a, a serious financial breakthrough. Already. The Lord spoke to me. He said, He said, You you receiving it right now. Because your understanding done shifted. You, you, you see, and you can't, you, you know, some things you hear, you can be talked out of, but never what you see. You can never unsee what you see. You, you seeing something. Oh, glory to God. You can go after it when you see it. Amen. Now watch this. Notice what he said. Glory to God. Where that at, Holy Ghost? He just showed it to me. Go there with me. In, in, uh. In, in Romans chapter 8. Look at verse 31. He said, if God be for you, who 
can be against you? Who can be against you and win when he for you? How you know he for you? Verse 32. He who did not withhold his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he with him also freely give us what? Why, why come we can't live in that? In the free all things. If God were going to withhold a car note or mortgage paper, he would have kept his son. <laughs> but when he let go of his son, man, he said, car note, mortgage, man, I pay that thing. What? Open your mouth. Why? <laughs> oh. If he were going to withhold a healing, he would have withheld Jesus. But when he let Jesus go for us, when we were dead wrong, didn't have nothing in a row, nothing he liked about us, and he gave up Jesus. And you, it, how in the world he gonna withhold something now that you his child, an heir of God, a joint heir with him? How you think he gonna withhold? No, you ain't living in the blotted out. Woo! Glory to God. Hey! Hey, man, you got to think in the blotted out. Talk in the blotted out. Live in the blotted out. Amen. 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 How in the world are you going to question doubt, make the devil put suspicion on how he loved you in Christ on the cross and talk you out of something he done gave you freely? <laughs> how you going to go to a meeting like that? <laughs> Glory be to God. And then, then, then watch what he said. Amen. He said, he said, he said he delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him? See, everything come with him. Everything. Ooh, how you going to get the answer to this? How your children going to turn out? How your business? Everything with him. Ooh, 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 glory to God. Nothing is without him. You can't do nothing without him. You don't know nothing without him. You don't have nothing without him. You are nothing without him. Without Jesus, nothing. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. But with him, oh, I'm in the blotted out. Hey! 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 Woo! Glory be to God. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. How shall he not also with him freely give us? Now what doesn't that include? Woo. Glory to God. God ain't a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. But see, here it is. See, see, he, he gets you to question God's love. Get you to suspect it. And then you'll question his care for you. And, 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 and you, you, gotta, you gotta relate God to his love, how he loved you on the cross when you were dead wrong. If you keep him right there, man, you're gonna live in the blotted out. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So the devil can't accuse you of nothing. Because that love going to defend you. Now, I'm going to show you how to live in it. Notice verse 33. Notice what he said. Who is he? Who is he? Notice how Paul get bold now. See, because they trying to get him, the, 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 the enemy trying to get him to, to live outside of the blotted out. Notice, look at that in 2 Corinthians 7. Look at verse 1. Amen. Glory to God. See, this is how you defend that. Notice. He said, having therefore these promises, what promises? God delivered up Jesus, gave him for us all. How shall he not also freely with him give us all things? See, now we have these kind of promises. That we ain't got to do nothing that Jesus did for us. We just hear without protest, argument, without wishing it was different. Just go do what he say. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it. Having therefore these problems, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh. See, where is that at? On the cross? Everything on the cross. Ain't on me no more. 
Amen. All them sins, how you, it, oh, it, it, it ain't on me. I'm living in the blotted out, the new man in Christ. Amen. So notice he said perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Verse 2, receive us. We ain't wrong no man. We ain't corrupted no man. We ain't defrauded no man. Why are you going to say that? Well, you were hauling off women and children to prison and jail, persecuted, held the people coat who killed the, the first martyr of Jesus, Stephen. How are you going to say you ain't wrong nobody, defrauded no man? Because he living in the blotted out. Ain't done nothing wrong. Woo! It's all on the cross. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. See, you got to defend this in how you think, what you say, and what you do. And even in the company you keep. Glory to God. And now watch this. Go back to Romans 8 again. Glory to God. See, Paul had to defend this. They kept bringing up his past and all he'd been through. And he said, wait a minute, hold on. I'm, I'm living in the blotted out. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. All things have become new. Glory to God. It's where God relate to him at. This is where Christ reproduced himself at. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Now watch this. Notice verse 33. Amen. Glory to God. Who is he that can condemn me? Woo, glory to God. After God done justified me. Who can tell him he was, he, he was wrong? He didn't know what he was doing. He shouldn't have did that. Glory to God. See, this is how you got to look at what Jesus did for you on the cross and what he done for you on the right hand. Look there, look there, look there, look there in Ecclesiastes 3. Look at verse 14. Amen. Can't nothing undo what Jesus did for you and his love for you, but his love for you can undo what the de devil done done to you. Look what he said. I know that whatsoever God do it, it shall be forever. Hey, don't take no commercials. Did the prodigal son father take a commercial? Man, he prayed that boy, decreed that boy back, and he was expecting and planning on him come back. How you know? Because he had all his hired helpers, amen, with jewelry, shoes, and robe. Amen. He had them all on standby. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when you living in the blotted out. Woo! Man, the devil can't have your children. What? Glory to God. But when you ain't living in the blotted out, see, you accuse, you with the devil, accusing your children. Boy, they just going to go to prison living like that. Ah, I ain't living in that, talking like that and thinking like that. I'm living in the blotted out. Woo, this is what Jesus said to my children. Oh, look at Psalms 103. Woo, glory to God. Look at, look at verse, what's that, verse 20. I think it is. Ain't that what, verse 20? You a servant of the Lord? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Isaiah 54, verse 13. All your children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be their peace, and they shall be established in righteousness, verse 14. Woo! And they shall be far from oppression, far from terror, far from fear. It can't come near them. See, that's how I'm living in. See, I'm living in the blotted out. I done taught them of the Lord. Woo, glory to God. Jesus is committed to give them peace. Not just any kind of peace, but great peace. Woo! They're going to be established in righteous, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready. <laughs> I'm going to get the best robe ready. I'm going to get the shoes ready. I'm going to get the fatty calf ready. Woo! Glory to God. See, because whatever you don't make plans around, it ain't real to you. And whatever you don't nurse, 
won't stay in your life. Mm. Glory to God. Now watch this. Notice. Amen. I went to the, 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 the take a physical in, the, in, the, in 2009, and they said, uh, we hear something in your heart. It's, a, it's like a murmur. Go to the cardiologist. So I went. They said, oh, you, you got severe uh, uh, murmur. This thing in your heart ain't, ain't pumping blood right. It, the vial ain't shitting. And, uh, and you need, it's severe. And you got to, you got, we're going to give you three months and uh, you got to get this operation. Open heart surgery, they said. And so the Lord told me, he said, uh, he said, all you need is words, huh? And he said, seek me, get me to say something about that. I said, how I do that, Lord? He said, you praise and thank me. Amen. Glory to God. And you'll hear my voice. You'll get me to say something. Woo, glory to God. <laughs> and then he said, incorporate some fasting with it. The Bible said in Acts 13, it says, uh, and Paul and Silas, being Paul and Barnabas, being two other prophets, as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said. See, praise and worship is a ministry to the Lord. Yeah. It's a service to the Lord. Right. Anna the prophetess in Luke chapter 2, verse 38, the Bible says she didn't leave the temple. She stayed there serving the Lord with prayer and fasting night and day. And the Lord spoke to her about Israel's redemption. See, that's how you get God to say something. And, and so he, he, he took me to Psalm 73, verse, verse 26, I'm the strength of your heart. I'm your portion forever. Now keep saying that. Keep sowing that. And he said, your ground is the heart. My word is the seed. And if you sow a seed in the ground, keep it there for three months, what you going to see? Fruit. He said, if you'll see that in the natural, how much more if you'll do it in the spiritual? He said, don't say nothing. Every time you go to the doctor, you're the strength of my heart. God is my strength of my heart. He my portion forever. And at the end of three months, they didn't even hear no murmur. They sent me to three different, different doctors. And then they tried to get me to go to a fourth. I said, I ain't going. That's enough. Out of mouth for two or three witnesses. Every word is that. <laughs> oh, really? God. Woo! See, all you need is a word. And this is the word. I'm telling you, he already done did everything. See, love provided it, but faith accesses it and receives it. And you can't have faith without hearing. And this is where the enemy keep people from receiving from Jesus. This is why their faith don't work, because they got condemnation. They questioning God's love. And, and, and the faith don't go get what he promised and go get what he did, because they ain't living in the blotted out. Glory to God. If you just live over in that, that's what the enemy tried to get Paul. Paul said, I ain't wrong nobody. I ain't defrauded nobody. I'm living in what Jesus did for me on the cross. Woo, glory to God. Now go back, Romans chapter, chapter, chapter. Boy, I don't know how to, I'm going to listen to this myself. <laughs> Woo, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It's God that justified me. He made me right. He had all to do with this. He was planning this, thanking this, promising this. Woo, glory to God. Amen. Notice what he said. He said, who is he that can condemn me, separate me from what God did for me in Christ on the cross? Glory to God. It's Christ. He the only one that can do that. But instead of doing that, guess what he did? He went to the right hand of the Father. What is he doing right now? Making intercession for me. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Now look what happened when he make intercession for you. Look there in Hebrews 7, verse 25. Amen. Hebrews 7. Thank you, Bible man. You're such a blessing tonight. You're on top of it tonight. Hebrews 7, 25. Wherefore he is what? Able to do what? Save. How? 
Come on, how is he going to say it? To the, to the what? Do that leave anything out? Do that leave you struggling? Do that leave you doing without? Do that leave you in worry, fear, anxiety? No, no, he saved to the uttermost. Who do he save to the uttermost? Those who come to God by him. How you gonna come to God by him? Jesus, this is what you did for me on the cross. You took my infirmities. You bore my sicknesses and disease. You became poor so I could become rich. You became weak so I could become strong. You my Lord and shepherd. I do not want, hallelujah. That's how you come to God by him. Are y'all seeing this? Yeah. Amen. And look what he do. When you come to God through him, he lives there to do what? Make intercession for you. Whew. You can't be saying something different than what he's saying and join him in that intercession. Glory to God. Hey. <laughs> well, we're going to decrease some things tonight. For real, we're going to say some stuff tonight. Amen. It's, it's time for the, the end of all defeat, all residue of it. Got to go. All shadows and amen, resemblance of it. Got to leave all weakness, sickness, disease. Amen. That's an enemy of God. It's an enemy of love. It's an enemy of Jesus. It's an enemy of yours. And you're supposed to hate it. Glory to God. And now that watch this. Notice here. Amen. And we'll, we'll wind it down. I don't know what we're going to call this message. How to live in the blotted out. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Glory be to God. Amen. Now watch this notice here. Go back there. Romans 8, 34, 35 now. Watch Paul. Notice he said. Notice, he said, notice what he said. Amen. He said, who shall separate me from the love of Christ? How Jesus loved me on that cross. Shall tribulation do it? No. Distress? No, it don't have a chance. Jesus, like Pastor Scale said, how he loved me on the cross, it clobbered it. Oh. <laughs> it clobbered tribulation. It clobbered famine. It clobbered nakedness. It clobbered pearl and sword. Woo! Glory to God. And then Paul, some of that Old Testament thinking came up. He said, for we sake, we killed all the day long. We're counted as sheep for the slaughter. He said, I ain't going to misappropriate that scripture. He said, I'm going to keep it over there before the cross. But this is how I'm going to live. I'm going to live in the blotted out. I'm going to live in after the cross. I'm going to live in where he is at the right-hand side of the throne of God. Now, it, it, it's written there. Yeah, that's how they live before the cross. But after the cross, nay. I ain't got to put up with that no more. I ain't got to nurse that no more. I ain't got to accept or approve that anymore. Nay, in all these things, we more than conquer us through him that loved us. See, if your faith ain't working, go look at how he loved you on that cross. Amen. Don't pray no more. Don't even read no more. Just go look at how he loved you on the cross when you were dead wrong. Well, you didn't have a chance. You were without God, amen, without help and hope in the world. But Christ Jesus died for the ungodly. God commended his love towards us while we were yet sinners. Woo, just go look at how he, amen, told Peter, you're going to deny me three times for the car grow. And he went and did it. Now Jesus rose from the dead. He told Mary, go tell my disciples and Peter. Why? Because this is the will of God in John 6, verse 38. Amen. He said, this is the will of the Father, that all that he's given me, I should lose nothing. You ain't got no business losing nothing. No credit card, no keys, no money, no business. Man, if they couldn't lose an axe head in the Old Testament, how you going to lose something up under the new? And they wouldn't put up with losing an axe head. And you putting up with losing a job, a business, oh, oh, your health, oh, no, your children. No! I'm no longer permitted to live in defeat. I'm no longer permitted to lose nothing. Now watch this. Notice, because the theme of this conference is he already did it. He already did it, y'all. 
I just got to live in what he did. What did he do? He blotted out everything that was against me. Woo. So I ain't finna talk against that. What he blotted out, he blotted it out. I don't care how I feel, what it looked like, what people are saying. I'm not finna live in that. Glory to God. Thank you, Bible man. <laughs> I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, principality, power, nor things present, nor things to come, no height, no depth. See, look how he's living in the blotted out. <laughs> no any other creature shall be able to separate me. Woo! Woo, for my ain't loved me on that cross when he blotted everything that was against me out. Woo, glory to God. Nay, in all these things, in all these things, in all these things, we're more than conquerors. More than conquerors. Woo, we making it with room to spare. Glory to God. Are we seeing this today? I said, are we seeing this today? Now, this is how we live in that. Amen. This is how we live in that. Glory to God. Now, that, 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 woo, glory. Y'all remember that woman at the well? Boy, she know how to live in the blotted out. Woo, she went and told him I done met a man. <laughs> he put them five bad marriages. <laughs> and that dude I was living with, he put it on the cross. <laughs> Woo, he told me I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. <laughs> He said, God had done all good things, planned things that pertain to peace for me. Woo, and he told me, go tell somebody. Woo, and she went and told him, glory to God, how she was living in the blotted out. Boy, people want to know how to live in the blotted out. Woo, glory to God. They want to know how Jesus disarmed principalities and powers. Glory to God. They want to know how he didn't hold against you what you did wrong, but he laid it on him, put it on the cross. They want to hear how he gave you the ministry of reconciliation to go out and tell others that God ain't holding against them what they did. Glory to God. He nailed it to the cross. Ooh, and he done brought you into favor with him. <laughs> Glory to God. Hey. Woo. <laughs> Somebody need to act like they living in the blotted out.
Somebody need to act like they living in the new man. Somebody need to act like they fully persuaded that nothing, glory to God, nothing, hallelujah, that nothing, oh, glory to God. Oh, oh, I hear the Holy Ghost. Amen. You need to make plans around having what Jesus promised, having what he said, having what he did. Don't talk yourself out of it. Don't let no situation, what you're going through, tell you how he's going to respond to you. No, let his love do that. Ask yourself, what would love do in this situation? I tell you what love will do, it'll give itself. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Love will give itself. Hallelujah. Amen. Love ain't going to just feel sorry. Love going to throw itself in there for a change, to make a difference, to give you a testimony, a praise report of how you got loved in Christ. Christ. Glory to God. Woo! Now I came here tonight, I'll tell you, I had like four, five different messages. Man, I did. Man, I had point out the point. Man, the Holy Ghost said, you ain't gonna get preaching out of that. He said, ha, 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 Let me show y'all how to live in the blotted out. When something come up, amen, glory to God. This is how you live in the blotted out. Look there, look there in, 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 in Psalms. 37, verse 12. This is how you live in it. Something come up. Look, the wicked plots against the just. You ain't going to make it. God ain't going to do it for you this time. No, you really messed up. This is over for you now.
This is what the Lord said. He said, teach them how to live in the blotted out. And when you live in the blotted out, when the devil bring up something or accuse you of something, you don't go praying and all that. You don't know. You just laugh. No, 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 watch this. Now, don't you laugh. Laughter is a result of what you see in here. So when you see what God see, what do God see? He see the end of that. He see the end of poverty, the end of lack, the end of the test, 
the end of the trial, the end of worry, the end of sickness, the end. Of, he seen it ended on the cross. It got blotted out. So he laughing. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Woo. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, laughter has to do with what you see. Amen. See, if you don't see the end of that, man, you ain't going to laugh. Man, you're going to be complaining, <laughs> calling up folk, <laughs> rescue 911. <laughs> but see, when you living in the blotted out, and what Christ did for you on the cross and what he's doing for you at the right hand, you see differently. You see the end of that. I think he said the same thing in Psalms 2. In Psalms 2. Look at, look at verse, is it verse 5 or 6? Somewhere around in there. Where is that Psalms 2? It's, where is that talking about? He said, then shall they speak unto them. Amen. Uh, where is it? And, and vex his sore displeasure. Yet the Lord shall be king uh, on the holy hill. Amen. And I will declare and decree said unto me. And then it's somewhere down in there where it talked about he laughed. He that sitteth in it. See how the devil talking all this crazy stuff. Your situation barking, woofing, howling, harassing you. Woo! And the Bible said after all this, Glory to God. After all this, the Lord sitteth in the heavens doing what? Laughing. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Because he sees some stuff. He sees what he did for you in Christ on the cross. He see, amen, that he done targeted and planted people in your life, ministers, amen, glory to God, associates and friends. He see how he done lined your path up with favor, glory to God. He see, glory to God, people praying for you, he done aside for you, glory to God. He see you coming out of that thing. He see your darkness turning into light. He see your morning turning into dancing. just want you to see what he see. Glory to God. Amen. Now to see is to understand. Amen. I said to see is to understand. And the understanding is to see. Amen. And so, so, so the Lord told me, he said, he can only intervene, amen, to the degree that we see are to the degree that we understand. Look what he told Abraham in, 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 in Genesis 13. Look at verse 14. He said, Abraham, look, man, I done already done some stuff for you. He said, and the Lord said unto Lot, Abraham, after Lot left. Sometimes you got to get rid of some people because they keeping you from sin. You got to let them walk to them. Try to keep them in your life when the Lord moving them away because they keeping you from sin. Amen. Notice, he said, he said, see, they talk doubt and unbelief. They make up excuses for you living in defeat. Amen. You can't, uh-uh, no, I got to live in the blotted out. Amen. Lift up now your eyes, Abraham, and look from the place where thou art, northward, southward, eastward, westward, for all the land which you see. If you don't see it, I can't get it. I can't get involved. I can't intervene if you don't see it. I can't get you to go for what you don't see. So it ain't a money problem, it ain't a healing problem, it's a seeing problem. Because when you see, you're going to laugh. <laughs> ain't nothing else to do. <laughs> he done everything there, man. He done did it on the cross, man. He did everything, man. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Amen. When you see, you're going to do three things. you either going to laugh, you're going to praise, or you're going to dance or run. See, seeing is believing, I'm telling you. See, we preach Thomas, you know, but we didn't add that component in there. Jesus told Thomas, because you have seen, you have believed. Amen. When Thomas saw them holes in Jesus' hands, and he, let, he said, Lord, thou Lord, thou God. See, he saw. See, but there's a spiritual component of seeing. Because he told Abraham, as far as you see, glory to God, that will I give you. Amen. So to see is to understand. The reason why people behavior ain't changed because they ain't seeing what God is saying. Look there with me in, in 1 Corinthians 14. Look at verse, verse, verse 11. Paul said, when I was a child, I thought like a child. I behaved like a child. I, why? Because I understood like a child. So I can pray for this person all day, but until I shift their understanding, their conduct ain't going to change. Are you seeing this? The conduct is, relate, is related to the, to the 13, 13, 11. Amen. The conduct is related to the understanding. Mm. The reason why people don't forgive, live in hate, anger, strife, because they don't understand how God loved them on the cross in Christ when they were dead wrong. So they respond out of what they see and understand. So the conduct is related to what I see, and what I see is what I understand. And look what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 14, look at verse 20. He said, in malice, be children, but in understanding, be men. See, grown up in what you see. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Work on your understanding. Amen. Glory to God. Now your understanding, what you see, determines what you receive from God. Or what you get to keep. Amen. What's that in Matthew 15? Amen. Look there in, in verse uh, 19. Amen. He said, in the sower, soweth the word. Amen. Is that Matthew 15? 16, 19? Uh, no, that ain't it. What is it? Matthew 13, 15. So I so at the word. Thank you, Bible, man. He on it tonight. Amen. <laughs> Amen. For this people, heart is wet, gross. Their ears are, and their eyes. And, no, where is that at? 19. 19. Amen. 19, Bible, man. Put me right there. It said, for the sower, so at the word. And, 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 and the enemy come to take the word out of the heart of those who understand it did not. See, 19, 19, see, see, is that chapter what, Rain? 13, 19. 13, 19. So whatever you don't understand, you don't get to keep. That's what the devil gonna steal. So the Lord can say, I'm the Lord, your shepherd, you shall not want, and you still go to bed worried. And instead of going from prayer to praise, you go from prayer to worry when you don't understand. When you don't see what God is saying. But when you see what God is saying, you get to keep it. The devil can't steal it. He can't come and take it. Shh, glory to God. Are y'all seeing this? Now, what helps my understanding? Number one, prayer. Amen. The Bible tells us in first Ephesians 1, verse, verse 17 through 19. Amen. He said, pray that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Glory to God. So I had to be a person of prayer. <clears throat> Can't neglect prayer. Amen. If you want to see what God is saying. If you want to laugh how he do when the enemy show up. <laughs> if you want to live in the blotted out. Amen. Are y'all seeing it? Number two, you got to be a per person of praise. Psalms 47 verse 7. Amen. Notice what he said. Psalms 47 verse 7. Amen. The Bible tells us, amen, if I'm to understand, I got to be a purpose, person of praise. For God is the king of all earth. Sing praises with the what? 
Understand. See, when you understand he the king of kings, Lord of lords, and he done already put that stuff on the cross you dealing with, and he got the final say, and what he say, go. Man, you ain't going to complain. You're going to praise. Why? Because you understand. You see. Woo. Glory to God. And then, amen, the third, amen, you got to connect with a man of God who can help you to see, help you to understand. Look there in Jeremiah 3.15, and I shall give you pastors after my own heart, shall feed you with what? Knowledge and understanding. So every time you get out of the car on these grounds and come through this door, just like you go to the grocery store, you know what you're there for. I ain't here to play church and mess around. I'm here to get my understanding open up so I can see what God is saying so I can live in the blotted out and laugh when the devil show up to try to take what I already have. <laughs> Glory to God. Somebody challenge you telling you not to come to church. No, man, you ain't finna hinder my understanding. Look there in Proverbs, what's that, 21, 16. This is what happened when you don't co come to church. This is what happened to your understanding. Proverbs 21, 16. The man that wanders out of the way of what? Understanding shall remain well in the congregation of the dead. Y'all see it? Right, man, ain't no way. You gonna talk me out of coming to church. Get me amongst the congregation of the dead. Why well, I can't see what God is saying. <laughs> Woo, and live in the blotted out. Man, you ain't going to get me connected with the accuser of the brother. Glory to God. Are y'all seeing this? So that's what's under attack. You're seeing, you're understanding. Because when you see, you're going to laugh. Because you're going to see the devil day coming. You're going to see the end of coming. You're going to see that thing going to quit. It's going to give up. It's going to get clobbered. Boy, so much stuff don't got clobbered in this church. Woo, glory to God. Everybody in here got a testimony of something getting clobbered. <laughs> Woo, glory be to God. Your understanding is, what is what's under siege. The enemy want to pull you out of that setting that open up your understanding, your ability to see what God is saying. Because when you see it, it's it. It's it. And you need to be amongst in, setting, in, in settings that God has appointed for you, not the ones that you have decided. You can't even read books that you done decided to read. For real, y'all. Look, 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 look. Watch this. Watch this. Proverbs uh, 19, 27. We're going to close through scriptures. 19, 27. It says, it, said, it said, cease to hear, Proverbs 19, 27. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that calls you to error. Notice where error come from, instruction. Every time you err, it's a result of what you're hearing. Mm. Are y'all seeing this? Amen. Now, 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 watch this. The Holy Ghost showed me something. Now, <clears throat> if, you, if your understanding is to be enlightened, you got to remain, somebody say remain, remain. And, continue and continue in settings, in, settings, in, places, in places that God has appointed, God has appointed for, you to hear and for you to hear and receive. Watch this. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 12. Look at verse 13. Watch what he said here. Amen. Glory. I'll go over this place. I'll go over that place. Well, okay. All right. Your understanding going to get impacted. Amen. Take heed to yourself. That you offer not your burnt offerings. There'll be tithing, giving. You got, you got to be up under God's direction. What he tell you to give and tithe. Amen. Glory to God. Don't offer your offerings in every place that you see. Are y'all seeing this? He said, but, 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 but the place that I have chosen. 
amongst the tribes. There shall you offer burnt offerings, and there shall you do all that I command you. See, God got a place called there where he gonna open up your understanding. Whew. Glory to God. The conduct gonna change. The money gonna change. The body gonna change. The family gonna change. The living gonna change. <laughs> Glory to God. How y'all saying this today, man? See, it's all related to the understanding. What you see, how you respond when the devil show up. Amen. You either complain or laugh. Amen. If you complain, amen, you ain't seeing right. Amen. You need to check up on what you're hearing. And are you in the place that the Lord appointed to you? Hearing, receiving without protest, argument, and without wishing. It was different. <laughs> Come on, stand to your feet tonight. Come on, give the Lord praise. Give him glory. Oh, somebody say, I'm living in the blotted out. I'm laughing because I see the end. I'm allowing Jesus and what he did for me on the cross to determine to me how it's going to turn out. Now, if you letting Jesus say what he did for you on the cross determine to you how it's going to turn out, what you going to do? You going to praise, laugh, run, or dance. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Scales. Amen. Give him a hand as he comes. Amen. <laughs> I've been, I've, been, I've been saying this. Anything he preached, I've been telling, no, devil, Jesus, boy, this on the cross. No, I ain't bearing this. No, 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 he done that for me. I ain't, uh-uh. You can't stay. And, and, and I tell, tell him, I laugh at him. And, and, uh, and, and But, man, my, my faith got strengthened tonight. I told the devil, I said, he, 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 he disarmed you. I, I, I told the devil that, that Jesus manifested that, that, that he destroyed the works of you. He done destroyed all your works. And you ain't you ain't got nothing. And 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 man, I heard the spirit say tonight that that and I've taught y'all this that quit pulling the nails off the cross and let that stuff stay. Jesus bore. And that that he bore it so we don't have to bear it. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your servant. We just praise your name, honor you tonight. We bless you tonight. We thank you for your precious, holy, written word to see and understand what you blotted out for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all your blessings. Thank you for your increase. Thank you, Lord, that this word will be increased in us. And we thank you for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Love on somebody.